Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anna and I'm a vegan living in London, originally from the US and Japan. Today I am trying a bunch of stuff from uh, Poundland. So I've actually never been to Poundland. I never stepped foot in a Poundland before. Um, it's essentially the UK's equivalent of the dollar store. So everything is supposed to be around one pound or less. Um, so I was curious to see what kind of vegan snacks, finds they have. I was like kind of going in with low expectations, but I did come out with quite a few goodies. So I'm very excited to um, try them for you all. Everything um, was around one pound. Actually, one thing I got was two pound 50. Okay, first off, let's start with savory. Um, these are Seabrook Loaded Fries, chili heat flavor. There were a few different flavors of this brand, but I was most intrigued by chili heat because I love my spicy food. Um, and this one, yeah, it's made with corn and a bunch of seasonings. And it says ve vegan approved. On the back it says, vegan approved. I don't know if you can see that, but. They don't smell spicy. They look like this. They're pretty sweet. They're like sweeter than I thought they would be. They're very airy, like not, a, like you know those kind of chips where it's like, you bite into it, it's very, it's a lot of air, not a lot of like substance. It's, it's more of that kind of chip. Not bad, a little bit spicy, not too spicy. Um, yeah, they're okay. I don't think I would buy those again, but for one pound, pretty good. Next up, I wanna try these Sunny Fruit Mix-Ups, Strawberries and Sultanas. I think these are meant for kids. Um, based on like the packaging, but I was still kind of curious because the ingredients are sultanas, dried strawberries, yeah, sultanas and dried strawberries. So I don't know. I was curious. It's probably nothing mind blowing, but and these were also yeah one pound. So they come in little packages. Comes with four. They're really small. Let's try. Pretty good. They're exactly what you would expect. The dried strawberries are interesting. They, they're just like this. They don't look like a strawberry at all. I was expecting, I guess I was expecting like a freeze dried strawberry, but I don't know why, because that's not the same, but I like the dried strawberries actually. They're really good. I like those. I'll give those, I don't know, six and a half. The chips, I will give a six. Next, I'm gonna try something that you might be like, why would you get those? Cause they're not that special, but I've never found this cheap of pistachios. So these are salted pistachios. Um, how many grams are in this? 85 grams and they were one pound and i'm curious to see like how they taste because sometimes pistachios like you know obviously if the quality is better they taste better so i'm curious they taste good no different from other pistachios they're salted nicely i have no complaints 10, 10 out of 10, can't go wrong. I think that's a hack. If you want nuts, go to Poundland because they're so much cheaper. Let's go for the deep filled apple puff. I saw these on the shelf and I was like, could they be vegan accidentally? And they are. Now, that being said, there is a bajillion ingredients. Apple filling, sugar, glucose syrup, thickeners, 
dye starch, acid, preservative, wheat flour, vegetable margarine, vegetable sunflower oil, water, emulsifiers, preservatives, like all this stuff. So this is not healthy, but you know what? It's vegan. It doesn't say, it doesn't have like a vegan labeling, but I mean, there's no animal products, <laughs> so. Oh God, this texture, oh God, it's like, it's gonna be messy. I don't wanna spill it. Oh God, it's going everywhere. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's very sweet. And kind of tastes artificial. I don't know. I feel like I would not feel satisfied at all if I ate the whole thing. Like. Even if I ate the whole thing, I would like still be hungry. I don't, I don't like snacks like that. And it's like really sweet, like really, really sweet. And it has like no texture because it's just like filled with preservatives. And I think it lasts forever. Let me just see the expiration date. Yeah, this lasts till May 19th. It's March 3rd. I'll give that a three. Don't buy it, it's not worth it. But it is one pound. Oh no, it's 50p. So it's really, really cheap. So maybe it is worth it, I guess, if you are really on a budget. Next up, let's do Skinny Raw Chocolate Brownie. So this is a brand I have never heard of before, but it was like all over Poundland. They had like so many different types of bars. Um, a lot of them were not vegan, but these raw, this like raw line that they have, a lot of them were. This has dates, almonds, dark chocolate chips, um, cocoa, flour, blah, blah, blah. Each bar is 96 calories. Guilt-free, it says. These were one pound. They're very small. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but they're like, indeed, very, very skinny. Looks scary, just like jet black block. Oh my god, that tastes like a what are they called? Tootsie roll. It tastes like a Tootsie roll. Oh, it's so weird. I don't know if like Tootsie rolls exist in the UK, but for any of my American viewers. It's a Tootsie Roll. That's so weird. It's like Tootsie Roll with like a hint of almond. Strange. I don't know. It's not bad, but I just, I can't get that Tootsie Roll flavor out of my head. I'll give that a six. Maybe five and a half. Five and a half. Next, we're gonna try Round Tree's Fruit Pastilles. Um, I've seen this brand around, I've just never tried it before. It says, now vegan friendly on the packaging, which is cool. And these were also one pound. I think pastilles are kind of like gummies, but like harder if I'm correct. I don't know, I've never had a seal before. Oh, they look like um like Mentos or something. Oh yeah, it's like a hard candy. Is this supposed to be like a cough drop? This, I think there's like multiple flavors in the pack. Oh no, they're soft. Oh. Very chewy. It's actually much better than I was expecting. Really nice, chewy texture. The flavor, the fruit flavor is like quite good. It's not, it doesn't taste artificial. And on the packaging it says, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So I guess that's why it tastes so good. Yeah, I'm impressed by this. 
I'll give these an eight. Pretty good. I also bought this Galaxy Vegan because I got so excited. I was like, oh my god, they have one of the Galaxy chocolate bars. And then I realized that I can't actually have this flavor because it's filled with hazelnuts. So just FYI, they do have this at Poundland. However, this was one of the ones that was not um, one pound. This was two pound 50, so beware. But let's finish off with something giant. This giant serene pack. This is the family pack. It was one pound 50 for this huge, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but usually serene packs are like this big. This one's, you know, a third more. So I love Serene. Sorry, this is not really a taste test because I already had Serene and I love it. So yeah, but if you don't know what Serene is, it's like, I don't know, it's like a weird thing that I had never had before moving to the UK, but it's like a really chewy malt loaf. It's filled with like sultanas, I think. What's in it? Raisins. But yeah, it looks like this. I don't want to take the whole thing out, but yeah, it's just like a huge loaf. It's like super, I don't know how to show you. It's super like chewy and sticky. It looks like this. Really good. See the raisins? This and Biscoff, winning combo, so good. Oh, I actually had one more. Speaking of Biscoff, we have the Lotus Biscoff biscuits. So these were one pound and I've seen these in the grocery stores before, but I've never tried them. They're like Oreos for Lotus Biscoff. Yeah, it says caramelized sandwich biscuits with Biscoff cream filling. No colors, no added flavors, suitable for vegans and vegetarians. They're quite small. They're smaller than like, I guess they're this, well, yeah, they're probably similar size to like Oreos. Mm. This is for Lotus lovers. Like you need to love Biscoff to appreciate this. Crispy, just enough Biscoff in there. That's really good. I'll give that a nine. So out of everything I tried, surprisingly the pistachios were a win, but that's just because like, cause it's, it's just a pistachio, you know? It's hard to mess this up. So these got a 10. These were a close second. Um. And surprisingly, I really liked the pastilles. Didn't think much of it. I thought they would just be like a candy, but I'm, su I'm su pleasantly surprised by the flavor. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. If you like this kind of content, if you want me to try other uh, European or British supermarkets, like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.